Okay, it is finally here. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I have a package and I can't wait to open it. I had to like quickly set up the camera because I wanted to film opening this. <gasps> I didn't even see this side. Oh my gosh, can you guess what it is? Just in case you didn't know, this is the latest book from La Wish. I have um, reviewed and showed all the other books on this channel and it feels so special to share and open this book with you here and now. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this was another one that was done on Kickstarter by 3D Total and I am a little bit salty that this sticker is here but I might try and keep this anyway. So let's, let's crack on into it. So this is a much bigger box than I thought was going to come. Um, I think it's bigger than the last couple of books, but let's open it up and have a look inside, shall we? Oh, so we've got some goodies right on the top here, some little mini postcard prints. They are gorgeous. I love those so much. Got a little, um, I guess like a little bookmark little sticker sheet I love all the warm red tones in these and this exercise book so this was an add-on that I chose to purchase with the oh wow like the paper it's like you know actual drawing paper I am to not about the add-ons because with the shipping and stuff it was quite expensive and I don't have a lot of whole, whole lot of money right now but I just thought, oh, look at that, look at that. So that's a work exercise booklet or like a workbook. So I'm very excited to see and actually give that a go. So I might do that and make a little separate video going through this. And then getting to the main awesome thing. Oh, wait. Wait, just, wait what? Hang on a second. What? Oh, obviously I guess um, the cards must have been a stretch goal add-on, but I'm very confused. Okay, yes, I quickly checked my Kickstarter and I did select the slipcase. I didn't know that I did that, so that's cool. That's like an extra surprise for me. So this is designed to fit all three books from Loish, as you can see here. I have got the art of Lewish behind the scenes, the sketchbook of Lewish, and then now this is the style. So um, they're all the same sort of style. This slipcover is a lot smoother than these two, so that's a bit different. The style of Lewish. I am so excited for this. This was actually meant to ship in April this year, but of course it's now the very end of July and it's only just arrived now. Um, it had a lot of delays, which is fair enough. We are still living in a little panini with, you know, so we've got to be patient with shipping and stuff. Here we go. Nice and up close. So the artwork on the cover is beautiful as always. I love, uh, I just love the colors and the painting. It's so beautiful. It's so captivating. I can't wait to see. So this, obviously I have been watching and following Louis for such a long time. I didn't get it signed again because I was very mindful of my funds. Oh, you just hear that new book, new book feel. Oh, excellent. So yeah, that's so lovely. 3D Total was such a good publisher. I love so many of their books and it's so good that they plant a tree for every book sold. We've got the introduction here, finding my style. Now I love seeing this because you can see how she's progressed with her style over the years. She is an amazing artist who is known for her style and how she pushes proportions and her characters. But I remember like the old digital art, like Oikaki days. <laughs> so it's great, so good for her to show like her story, her journey of, you know, where she started. We all have those humble beginnings. Not everyone is, you know, born an amazing artist. It takes so many years of development and growing and practicing. Like I, yeah, it's so funny because I remember, I remember these. 
And I love seeing the, you know, progress, like the, the draw this again challenge where you, you see someone like, you know, draw 10, 20 years later and you just see the improvements. So cool. And I, I remember having these saved to my computer. This is just so, this is so nostalgic. Turning points, I love seeing that. So really captive, capturing what the turning points within the style were. I love this style as well, the red pencil and the ink. And then yeah, like she's always been known for her character art and then doing the digital paintings of the landscapes and nature. It really shows that you can still be a versatile artist no matter what your style is. You don't have to draw just one subject matter, even though, even if you're known for like a certain thing, you can explore and expand beyond that. Like you need to, to develop your style. This is so amazing. I'm going to do like a fairly brief flip through just to get, give you my first impressions. So this is great if you missed out the Kickstarter and you weren't sure if you could afford or like worth getting this book. It's, you know, you can see from here, like if it's worth you saving up for it, I think it's worth it. I have, as you can see, I've got all the books. And she's just such a huge inspiration to me and a whole generation of artists, really. I love this, so soft. I just love the way she captures people and clothes and movement. This is beautiful. I can't wait to just like honestly pick up my iPad and do some painting myself. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And she's got case studies in here so you, you could literally follow them step by step. And use this as a as a way to develop your own style, which is what I find really good. It's it's great if you are one a fan of Louisa's art and two an art student yourself, or still learning and still developing your style. I like how she writes about intuition. One of the quotes that really stuck with me from one of her interviews was um, painting how a color feels, not necessarily like matching the color exactly. And that really stuck with me. And I, I think I'm still yet to implement it into what I do because I get very static and mechanical, but you can really see that like you can really feel when she paints her stuff, it's not fully true to life. Um, there's pinks in here, there's all these different colors and it's really exaggerated to what, you know, the reference material probably was. <laughs> That's just so amazing. So this is just such a fun book and I can see how it's gonna be fun to, if you wanna go through it chapter by chapter and do those exercises. Um, yeah, just saying, like trying unconventional colors. This is like, I need to do more of, absolutely. Visual flow, a huge thing she has in her work, even in these, you know, very basic pen and ink drawings that don't use a whole lot of tools and techniques. She's got that foundation of flow. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be so distracted for the whole day now because I'm just buzzing about finally getting this book. I was like, ah. Oh. So amazing. I love this. Whenever I see like these, it kind of reminds me of Joe Cooper. And these, I love, you know, showing the thumbnailing. That's such a huge, crucial thing to make part of your practice. If you are, you know, you're just starting out, even if you have like a dead set, like, yes, I want to do, this composition, explore that a bit. And then, you know, you might change your idea or you might go, yeah, nah, my initial idea was perfect. I'm just gonna go with that, but just really have fun with it. That's one thing I feel like she really encourages with her books and especially this one, have fun, explore, go beyond, you know, your boundaries of what you perceive you should be doing with your style. Because essentially like, your style should just be a byproduct of you creating art and exploring, not telling yourself, I have to do things this way. I have to use these colors. 
Um, you don't have to put yourself in a box to have a strong style. And I think Lewish really shows that, that you can have your sense of self and yourself no matter what subject you're doing, what colors you're using, you know, it develops. And see, that's very different to other Lewish things I've seen, but you can still tell that it's her, her style and her artwork finding inspiration in daily life it's so that's so important you know she makes something fantastical about everyday life tutorials what do we have here so digital workflow and being intuitive i find i get very stuck and static when i do digital art like i get very like step one step two step three and i really want to adapt this like be a bit more loose in my digital in my sketchbook i am a lot looser drawing pencil to paper i'm a lot looser but digital i don't know how she does it she's just so comfortable with that medium it's such an interesting way of working as well really sketchy really loose and then gradually building on from there and oh, it's just so beautiful I love these brush strokes you can see here as well. Oh, grayscale. So starting with grayscale and then adding color is again another style that people do. I don't do this myself, but I often think that I should when I'm doing bigger compositions that really need the light and shadow to help differentiate what's going on in the picture. Oh, random base colors. Nice. So beautiful. I'm so glad that there's you know, it's very inspiring, but it's also very practical. Tutorials, we've got quick tips. Ah, so doing certain focus studies. I feel like when I do studies, it's quite often just always like the sketch line of movement, but I like that you can show that you can actually do grayscale, you can just do um, color. So this coupled with the workbook, I'm very excited for. Multiple styles versus one style. Yeah, I often get asked whether it's okay to have multiple styles. Was it okay to have one? Many artists are insecure about the position on this spectrum. Answer is simply yes. Both are perfectly acceptable. Some artists like to explore a wide range of styles and other artists like to focus on one. It's only a problem if you don't feel comfortable with it. That's so true. You don't need to follow rules or like follow what other artists do. You, you do you. Trying different techniques. That's so good. Oh my gosh, that that is beautiful. I <laughs> I hope this little look through was okay. I know it's just me going, oh my God, I love it so much, but I am just happy to share this moment with you of getting the final book. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. For the sake of just showing the slipcase, I'm going to put everything away. But as soon as I'm done filming, you can bet I'm gonna get it back out and sit with this in my sketchbook look at how beautiful they look together and then the slip case should just take oh oh my gosh this oh this is not gonna fit oh no i pushed this in quite a lot Okay, that that doesn't quite fit. And I think it's because these um, slip cases are thicker than the new ones they're using. I don't want to push it anymore because then they're going to be really freaking stuck. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this look inside the Style of Blue Wish, the Kickstarter. I'm so happy to have these, all these little goodies. And I can't wait to do the exercise booklet and actually look through the book in more detail but let me know your thoughts are you a fan of Lewish? have you got this book are you thinking about getting it i'd love to know thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already please hit that like button subscribe all of that youtube stuff it really means a lot to me and helps me out i will see you guys in the next video but until then keep drawing